name is Annika Gerhardt Edwards and I'm an instructor of psychology at Leeward Community College. Uh, and I'm joined today by my husband. Hi everyone, I'm Chris Edwards. And we actually wanted to share with you one of our favorite hobbies, which is crocheting. So we are going to be creating um, finger crocheted bracelets, uh, which should be a lot of fun. We actually already made one for one another here. Chris has a yellow one. So we're going to be making another one for um, each other with you today. So the first thing that you need, your materials, are a ball of yarn. So it doesn't have to be very big. We're not using a lot of yarn today. I have yellow and Chris has a bluish green. And we also, of course, need our fingers. So we're going to first start off by making a slip knot. And you'll also see me demonstrating this um, in between as well. So you'll see Chris and I working on it here too. All right, so first we need to make a slip knot. And to do that, we need to have a piece of yarn um, dangling down like this. And we're going to put the top part of that yarn between our fingers. So make like scissors, go ahead and grab that yarn. Then we also want to grab the yarn with our thumb and our ring fingers. So that's the finger right next to the pinky. So we'll have it like this. You also see Chris has it like that as well. Now we're gonna take our other finger, we're going to take our index finger, our pointing finger, and we're going to go behind the yarn and push and turn. So now we have a loop on our finger and we have it held between our two other fingers. Yep. Now we're going to stick our thumb in that loop with our other finger. And we're going to grab the yarn and pull through. So now we should have a loop on our hook. And we're gonna go ahead and pull that kind of tight. Let's create a knot, yeah. Exactly, yep. And that's in our right hand. Yep, or your dominant hand. Sure. All right, so then we're going to go ahead and put our finger and our thumb through the, the loop again and grab that yarn, not the yarn that has the tail, but the yarn attached to the ball, and pull through. And we're going to lift that loop up, put our thumb back in, grab the yarn, and pull up. And grab the yarn and pull up and stick our thumb back through. And we're going to grab the yarn and pull up. And I just made a mistake because I made my last loop way too big. So I'm actually gonna just pull the current yarn loop out and just tighten that loop up a little bit. So it's very easy to fix a mistake if we make one. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and keep doing that. So we're going to stick our thumb through, grab the yarn and pull up until our yarn or our bracelet is as long as we want to make it. And here it's helpful to have your recipient right next to you, the person who's going to get the bracelet, so that you can try it on them. So I'm actually just going to check this against Chris's wrist, and it's not quite big enough, so I'm going to add just a couple more loops. How's yours looking? It's good. Okay. And I think mine's about done as well. Yeah, it's close, yeah, yeah. Awesome, and I think that mine is complete. So now I have my last loop and I'm going to leave about three to four inches of yarn on the side and I'm going to snip right after those three to four inches. I have little scissors, but you can of course use regular scissors. And then you're going to stick your finger and your thumb back through that loop and pull the end of the yarn all the way through and nice and tight. So now you have your bracelet. Now you can make sure that you have, thank you for demonstrating, you can make sure to have the same amount of yarn on either end. I'm just gonna cut them so that it's mostly even here. And then I'll cut Chris's as well. So I'm just cutting to make sure they're even. And then I'm going to cut it for Chris. Oop, more snip. And then obviously the last step is to give your bracelet to your partner. So I'm going to give mine to Chris, to his other hand. And you can of course make it as long or as short as you want. And I'm going to give mine to Annika.
So this is a nice, fun, easy craft. Um, and of course you could make a bracelet or an anklet or a necklace. So lots of different applications. So that's it. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. I hope you had some fun crafting with us and I hope you take care of yourselves. All right, bye everybody. Aloha.